Body, welcome back to Revis Talk Sports. In today's video, I will be giving you my win loss predictions for each AFC East team, as well as predicting if they will go over or under their 2024 win totals. So, without further ado, let's hop into the video. So, the first team I will be talking about in the AFC East is the New York Jets with an expected win total of nine and a half. Now, for what you see in each game, I'm going to do it for each AFC East team. I will be color coding each game. Red will mean that I do not think they will be favored, and green means I believe that they will be favored. So with the New York Jets, they had an interesting offseason. They definitely revamped the offensive line. Um, they got Mike Williams. They did lose Jordan Whitehead. Um, to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. But overall, I personally believe that they're still going to have a top defense. So the defense, I believe, is going to hold it down for the New York Jets. Rob Salah is probably one of the top defensive-minded coaches in the NFL. Um, last year, the offense was very anemic, especially when Aaron Rodgers went down with his injury. Um, Aaron Rodgers has been recovering during the season last year and now during the offseason, but it's going to come down to how healthy is Aaron Rodgers going to be? Can he be that Aaron Rodgers that he was from the Green Bay Packers? Um, is the line going to be healthy? Will the line protect them? And will they be able to score enough points to keep their team in the game? Um, those are pretty much, you know, factors going into this upcoming season. Yes, the defense to me personally, I believe they can replicate a top five defense. So I believe on the defensive side, I believe they are okay. Now, it's going to be coming down to the offense on their line, Rodgers quarterback play, can they score points, can he stay healthy for the rest of the season, and can they score touchdowns. So from what from that being said, these are my predictions of how I believe that the season is going to go. In week one against the San Francisco 49ers, this was very, very tough scheduling by the NFL. So to me, I think the first game against the 49ers will be a loss. Now, from what you see from week two to week six, I think the Jets can find themselves on a winning streak as long as Rodgers is healthy, the line is protecting them, and they can continue to score points. I do think that um, they can get a win against the Titans, the Patriots, the Broncos. I believe that they can stop Sam Darnold in that offense from a defensive standpoint and beat the Buffalo Bills. I think they will split the series with the Buffalo Bills, so I think they can take that game at home. Going at Pittsburgh, I believe that's going to be a very, very tough game at Pittsburgh. So after a hot winning streak, I can see them getting a, an L at Pittsburgh, which is a very tough, tough AFC North team. Then. Um, Against the Patriots, they'll get a, a W. I think they're going to sweep the New England Patriots this season. I do not think the Patriots will be good at all. So I do see the Jets sweeping the Patriots um, from a divisional standpoint. The Texans had a very solid offseason in terms of the draft and off uh, free agent signing. So I that's going to be a tough game. I do see the Jets losing to the Texans. Then they'll bounce back against the Cardinals. Um, yes, I do have them favored against the Colts, but something tells me that they might kind of lose to the Colts. I think it will be a back and forth game, but I, I just think that this could be a tough loss for the Jets heading into the bye week. So I do see an L on that side of things. Um, against the Seattle, um, Seattle has a very solid offense. I do believe they have a solid defense as long as they can stop the run defense. Um, Mike McDonald is the new head coach, um, but I do think that the uh, Seattle Seahawks can probably squeak away on their end. So this will be back-to-back -to -back tough losses for the New York Jets, as well as going to Miami, in which Miami tends to get wins at home. So it'll be a tough three losing game streak but i do think they'll bounce back against the jacksonville jaguars bounce back against the rams they will then lose the second game to the buffalo bills and then win at home against the miami dolphins so with that being said i do believe that the jets can go 10 and 7 um i think the floor for them is probably about eight 
nine wins maybe, but the ceiling is probably 11. But me, based on my predictions, I do have the New York Jets going 10 and 7 with You know, Rodgers being healthy, scoring points, and the line can keep him upright and not get him sacked a lot. So for me, 10-7 and for the Jets, I will hit the over on the 9.5. Now the next team I will be talking about is the New England Patriots. And honestly, I do not see a single game that I have them being favored in. Um... I do not think that the New York, the New England Patriots are going to improve this season. Um, It's going to be a tough season post Bill Belichick era. Uh, Now that Gerard Mayo is now the new head coach, I'm sure he'll probably implement some Bill Belichick philosophies, but I do think this will be a regressing type season. And I think this could be another top five NFL draft pick in the 2025 draft um yeah so if you look at the schedule based on what i see and what i think i don't think the patriots are going to be favored in any game i mean the Bengals, seahawks jets 49ers um this is a tough schedule for the patriots and i don't see any team on here that i think that they could be favored in um i do believe that the strongest unit of this team will continue to be the defense but is just a lack of playmakers on the offensive side. Um, the line isn't that great, and especially with Jacoby Brissett, I do think that he is an upgrade from Mac Jones, but I don't think he's going to do enough to turn um, the corner for this team to win a lot of games. So lack of playmakers, don't think they did much to kind of boost up the line. So on the offensive side of things, I don't think this team is going to do enough to score points as well as outscore the opponents. But even though you do see a lot of red in each game, that does not mean that I think they will go winless. Um, I think they can squeak out a few games here and there, but I do not think they'll go winless, even though I do not have them favored in any game this upcoming season. So these are my predictions for the upcoming season. I think they're going to go winless the first six weeks. And I think the first six weeks are very tough against the Bengals, Seahawks, Jets, Niners, Dolphins, and the Houston Texans. That That's going to be a tough week, tough first six week stretch. Um, the team that I think that they can squeak out early on in the season is the, is against the Jacksonville Jaguars. Um, I can just see them just squeaking out a few games here and there. I think Jacoby Brissett can have himself a few good games and kind of make some plays for the offense. And I think the defense can make some big stops for this team. But um, I think they can get a W against the Jacksonville Jaguars. Um, I don't think they're going to win any series against any divisional opponents. They're not. Um, I don't think that they're going to sweep the Jets, don't think they're going to sweep the Dolphins, don't think they're going to sweep the Buffalo Bills, nor split any series. So that right there is going to add some L's to their win-loss sections. And then um, after that win to the Jacksonville Jaguars, it's going to be a loss to the Jets, loss to the Titans, Bears, Rams, Dolphins, Colts. Then heading to the bye week, I believe they could probably get a win, another win against the Arizona Cardinals at Arizona. That's a, that's a game that I think can go a bit, you know, 50-50, um, even though I think the Cardinals are a bit of a better team than the Patriots. Um, I just think that this is one of the games that the Patriots can probably squeak out and get a W, lose to the Bills, probably get a win against the Chargers. Um Even though the Chargers have a new coach, you know, things are kind of up in the air of how Jim Harbaugh is going to be in his first NFL season. So this to me could be a bit of a toss up game for me. So I might have to just kind of give the the W to the Patriots in this one towards the end of the season as I probably think they'll try to be competitive or do their best to be competitive towards the end and let Gerard Mayo do his best to get a few W's towards the end of the season and then get an L for the Buffalo Bills. But Overall, I don't think this is going to be a good season for the Patriots. New head coach, regressing season. Um, The NFL schedule is pretty tough for this team. And for me personally, I kind of have this team winning probably three games. So probably go three and 14, probably another uh, top three NFL draft pick for the New England Patriots. 
So for me, three wins, I think they will go under the four and a half. All right, so the next team that I'm going to be talking about is the Miami Dolphins. They had a pretty good season last year, very explosive offense, but heading into the offseason, they lost some key members of the team to kind of cut some cap, uh, kind of make some salary cap space. And they did add in some pieces from free agency on like low budget cost deals. So it's going to be a different team for the Miami Dolphins. I do think that they'll still continue to have that explosive offense, but it's going to come down to can the defense do enough to stop the opponents? Um, so from what I see me personally, I can see the Dolphins being favored, um, in the first eight games of the season. Um, I just think that the offense will continue to click, uh, Tyree kill will probably go on a monster receiving streak as long as well as the running backs. So I believe that the first eight weeks, I see them being favored and just being that same high octane offense that I believe that they can still have. Um, and then in week nine, probably just, you know, be um, not favored against the Buffalo Bills. I think that the Dolphins are probably going to, you know, split the series against the Bills and the New York Jets, in my personal opinion. But overall, I do think that the Dolphins are going to be favored more times they are not going to be favored and i'm sure a lot of you are seeing that week 13 game against green bay um this could be a toss-up to me but you know against week 13 uh that's going to be thanksgiving november at green bay i don't think i have much confidence in tua having a big game at lambeau field last week in November, frigid, cold, probably snowing around that time. So I don't think I have much confidence in this Dolphins team to kind of put up a lot of points at Green Bay, especially during that time of the season. So me personally, I think they'll probably be not favored in this game. They probably will, probably on betting lines. But me, I just think this will be a tough game for the Dolphins at Green Bay in November. Um, so that's something that I think that they won't be favored in. But if you see week 15 through week 18, I think that's going to be a tough last four week stretch at Houston, at home against the Niners, at Cleveland and at New York. So those are going to be tough, tough games for the last four weeks of the NFL season. So based on my predictions, this is what I think how the Dolphins season may go. Um, I do see them getting a um, going four and one prior to the week six by back to back wins against Jacksonville and the Buffalo Bills. I do think they'll probably get that loss at Seattle. Tough home field advantage for the Seattle Seahawks with the 12th man, but I believe that the Seahawks will probably rely on the run game a lot and utilize their wide receiver group. Um, I think that the Seahawks, Seattle Seahawks defense will probably be a bit better defensively this year than they were last year. So I do think that could be an L at Seattle and then go on a two game winning streak prior to the week six bye. after the bye, I do see them getting wins against the Colts against the Cardinals, then get that, loss or that split season against the Buffalo Bills, lost at the Los Angeles Rams. Then they're at home against the Raiders and the Patriots. I can see them getting Ws because they tend to get very hot playing at home. And I think since two has been quarterback, the Dolphins have been on fire playing at home. So I do see them winning a lot of home games again this season, getting that loss at Green Bay. I think it would be a back and forth game at Green Bay, but I just think that the Packers would just have that home field advantage around that time at Lambeau. So it's going to be a tough loss to the Green Bay Packers, get that win at home against the Jets. And me, I do personally that they can potentially go on a four game losing streak to end the season at Houston, which is going to be a tough game, at home against the Niners, then um, at Cleveland. Cleveland has that solid defense again, and going against AFC North teams is very, very tough. And me, I think they'll split the series against the Jets, so I think the Jets will take that second game. So week 15 through week 18, I can see them getting four straight L's. So me, personally, I do have the Miami Dolphins going um nine and eight 
So me personally on that over and under nine and a half, I have the Miami Dolphins going nine and a half. I think that the Miami Dolphins ceiling can probably be 10 or 11 if they squeak out a few games here and there. The floor is probably eight, which I doubt they'll get eight. But me, I think the money win for me for the Dolphins is nine on the dot. Um, This was very tough looking at their schedule. I could see maybe 10 or 11 games, but I just think me personally, I think they can go probably nine and eight this season. Um, I just think that they had a tough off season and make, you know, Christian Wilkinson going to the Raiders. They lost to uh, Robert Hunt going to the commanders, I believe. So they lost some key pieces in the off season and definitely did their best to kind of, you know, um, make up for it in the off season as well as getting some draft class pieces but i think this might be a bit of a regressing season for the miami dolphins even though that they have a high octane offense i think this might they may regress just a little bit so me on the dot i kind of have them getting nine wins and just getting just under that nine and a half and last but not least i have the buffalo bills with the over under ten and a half um, from what you see here, I kind of having them being favored in more games than not. Um, week one against the Cardinals favored at Miami. That's going to be a tough divisional game, but I can see them getting, you know, maybe a loss in that one. But if you see between weeks four, five, and six, three straight um, away games. And then um, from there on, I think that they can definitely um, – Go on a hot stretch towards the end of the season from, you know, week 14 through week 17. The Buffalo Bills pretty much had a mini blow it up season and they're having a real uh, a retooling defense. Um, the Buffalo Bills had a tough restructuring offseason. Salary cap kind of hurt them a bit. You know, Tredavious White isn't there. Jordan Poyer isn't there. I don't think Micah Hyde resigned. Stephon Diggs is with the Texans. Gabe Davis is with the Jaguars. So this is a brand new team. Um, but I just think that they still have the same coaching staff. And I think this team is very technically sound from a coaching standpoint. So even though that this team is very different, I think the coaching staff will definitely do their best to keep their team competitive keep them in the game and definitely do whatever they can to make the playoffs again um i think josh allen is going to play freely um with stefan diggs i feel like he was you know forced to force feed the ball to stefan diggs and then there was drama you know in-house with what was going on so but with the new offense i think josh allen will be able to play freely uh, without having the thought of trying to force feed a wide receiver and trying to do whatever they can to make you know players happy. Um, but I think this is going to be an interesting season for the Buffalo Bills. A lot of people think that they're, into, that they're going to regress. Me, personally, I don't think they will. Um, even though that this is a different team, I just think that the coaching staff will definitely do their best to um, mesh the team together, let Josh Allen play freely and do whatever they can to kind of keep their team competitive in this division as well as try to make the playoff. And from what you see here, this is my win-loss column for the Buffalo Bills. Um, I do see them winning that week one. I do think that they're going to split the series with the Miami Dolphins and split the series with the New York Jets. Um, and then week four to week six, I think that's going to be a tough stretch at Baltimore. That's going to be a tough loss at Houston Texans, tough loss. And I think that they're probably going to lose that first game against the New York Jets at New York. So that's going to be tough. But after that tough loss against the New York Jets, I do see the Buffalo Bills going on a really nice winning streak heading to the bye. Um, wins against the Titans, win at Seattle, win at home against the Miami Dolphins, win at the Colts. And I know I think that they won't be favored um, against the Chiefs. The Bills kind of have the Chiefs numbers during the regular season than they do in the postseason. So because of that, I do have the Bills winning that close game against the Chiefs. So they'll go on a nice little hot streak going to the bye week. And then after the bye, I think things will get a little bit tough um, against the 49ers. Then 
I don't think that the Bills will have enough defensive power to stop the Rams offense and Matt Stafford, Cooper Cup, Puka Nakua, then they have Blake Corm, Kyron Williams. So I don't think they'll have just enough defensive pieces to stop that kind of, you know, nice octane Rams offense. And then going at Detroit, that's going to be a tough loss. But I think the Lions are going to be one of the top NFC teams that are going to battle for that number one playoff seed. So that's going to be a tough loss there. But then I do think that they're going to end the season on a strong note on a three-game winning streak against the Patriots, getting that second win, uh, that second game against the Jets and then winning that series against the Patriots. So overall, um, the Buffalo Bills, the, te- the team is definitely, you know, they definitely had a mini blow it up, but they're still retooling. I think Josh Allen is going to be the key player for this organization to keep their team alive during the season. And I think he's going to do just enough to get this team over 500. Now, in terms of over under that 10 and a half, I think the Buffalo Bills will just get 10 wins here. So I think that they'll go under that 10 and a half. Um, I think their ceilings could be their ceiling could be about 11 wins, floor maybe nine. But me personally, I can see a 10 and seven season for the Buffalo Bills, in which I think that they will go under that 10 and a half. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed the content, please give this video a thumbs up. If you have um, if you have not already subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel as I make weekly football content every Mondays and Fridays and comment below on your thoughts on my predictions for the over and under for the AFC East teams. Thank you so much and catch you next time.